you've rolled with both of them uh, in the past, correct? I'm not going to lie. I've rolled with them, and I love them both a lot. So I'm going to take the most non-biased approach, but I'm also excited because there are a bunch of killers in here. Yeah, this is going to be a wild fire matchup, I think. Absolutely. Amanda just got her purple belt, and uh, Letitia is actually still a blue belt, but I, to put it into perspective, I'm a brown belt, and I actually fought Letitia at blue belt. So oh, wow. both well, well-earned well um, competitors here, both very live on the circuit, Letitia being an MMA fighter herself. Uh, Letitia currently getting coached by Allison Ferrari, who is a purple belt out of Gracie 717 as well. And then Amanda Mazza has Jonathan Webb in her corner. He's a black belt and the owner of Webb Jiu-Jitsu. And they're going to go right to it. Yeah, we're getting some... A lot of really inside control. Tight collar ties here. This is... Uh, this Both is already, girls looking to wrestle. Yeah, this is looking like a gritty match already. I'm excited. Amanda doing a good job of mixing up inside control. She's got an underhook here, but Letitia's going to put her on the cage. Amanda in the uh, zebra shorts. Letitia in the gray spats here. Fighting for control of inside. Amanda's going to jump guard, and Letitia's going to keep her on the cage. And that's one of those things that, you know, you don't see very often in cage wrestling in MMA because you don't want to concede bottom guard. But cage wrestling in jiu-jitsu is completely different, uh, especially in a submission-only rule set, because you can do things like this, jump to guard, and not really be putting yourself at too much risk. Absolutely. And it looks like she'll, dang, she'll take her left leg down. Still keeps her right leg wrapped around Letitia's. Girls battling again for control of, of inside positioning here. Very nice. Very good nice. Look them off the cage. Very and a good. right back to forward movement. Letitia's corner calling for snap downs over there. Both of them, again, vying for inside control. Neither of these girls are looking to play the bottom, which is something that we don't see often, and I love this. Yeah, this is great, especially with the cage. We're getting to see some really uh, unique stand-up exchanges that we haven't seen too much of tonight. Amanda debating jumping again. She almost jumped to a closed guard, but Letitia getting a knee in. When Amanda applied here, actually, she did say, and I quote, she loves to jump on people. So that fits, the, that fits it. Fits <laughs> All it right. pretty well. Yes, we've seen that uh, multiple times already so far tonight. Um, Keeping a good pace. They're 142 in. Both of them with very good resumes. Amanda really coming up on the local scene. Letitia, an undefeated pro boxer, um, and looking to, to continue with that this year and more MMA fighting. That was a nice little arm drag there um, to fight for some inside control, but Amanda doing a good job at creating some space and keeping some frames. I like that they're both being stubborn about arm positioning and deciding you know, what they feel the best is before they go. Letitia using her head. Oh, Very nice, nice by here. Amanda. Good arm drag. Almost tried an inside trip, but Letitia's going to put her up against the wall here. Oh, Amanda Letitia's reverses got those it. Double unders. Double she's unders. Use that to try and trip. Amanda, Amanda jumps. Guard, she right recognized that she was going down, and she did a really good job at stopping the full momentum and being able to reset into a, a good sure. close guard. That oh, arm bar looks a little tight, but Letitia's elbow is going to be out, I think, here. Yeah, she's got that clear, but there was definitely some pressure on that at first. For sure, and Amanda stayed with it for a while. We're only halfway in, but we're, we're seeing a lot of good energy out of this match. Now, the question here is going to be, uh, the last time they were in this position, Amanda tried to create space and used it to stand up. Now, I wonder with this submission-only rule set if she's going to use some, uh, maybe start working some bottom guard. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Amanda looking to find her guard here. And she'll stand back up. Letizia will put her against get a cage. We have a good fight. Letitia didn't give me any direct quotes, but Amanda's second direct quote was that she likes to go balls to the wall or nothing at all. So all right. I feel like this is really working out for them. It has been Good snap balls down by Letitia, for sure. See if she can do something with that. She comes back to the feet. She does have that arm threat. She could potentially threaten a guillotine here. She's got some under the chin, but not completely. We're 330 in here. Amanda did a good job of peeling away that and uh, creating some space. And, and Amanda will get safe. out of that guillotine. Very nice. Letitia looking to hook the legs. Now she's on the right leg, and she'll put Amanda to the ground. Letitia getting a left knee in. And immediately starting to look for those knee cut passes. They're yeah. going to have a battle of the underhook here. Yep, Amanda did a good job of getting her knee frame in and really keeping the space there that's making it where that knee cut is impossible. Um, For sure. Amanda looks as comfortable on bottom as she did on top. Alicia, uh, Letitia looks happy to take the top. She looks like she is very good at, at what she's thinking of doing here. 
She's going to go for the neck again. We've seen this a lot tonight, uh, utilizing that guillotine, uh, but more more just to yeah, a lot threaten of your hunters. passes and you know that front headlock just to really be able to open up your passes to side control. I'm actually surprised about how ma how many people have been have been head hunting tonight, but Amanda doing a really good job of staying on her left arm uh, or on her left shoulder and not allowing herself to be flattened out. Yep. She's doing a great job of turning up. Oh, maybe uh, Darsh potential oh, here. Oh, nice little switch there from Letitia. Yep, that was She'll quick. She'll step that to north-south. Good, but Amanda did a good job flattening her back to the mat and getting around. Amanda um, is in some trouble, though, with her right arm over, and she'll get it back over. Time. Right. No sub in round one, but we can definitely guarantee we're going to see a, a good fight here from both of these girls. Yep, and we can guarantee there will be a sub at some point. So. Yeah, absolutely. That is the good reminder of this rule set. Again, three five-minute rounds separated by 30-second breaks. Coaches in between and during the matches. And then if nothing happens in any of those three rounds or it's 1-1, one, one, they'll go to a fourth unlimited round until there's a sub. So we are coming away with a clear winner tonight. So there's a lot of wrestling uh, that went back and forth in that round um, for gotcha. Amanda to eventually play on bottom. I wonder if we're going to see more of the same at the start of this round. And they're going to start right from standing again. No guard pulling, looking for inside control. Because wrestling from the feet can be a, a large energy expenditure. And Absolutely. The problem is in a potentially no time limit uh, match where it's submission only and there's no points awarded and no major award other than top position um, for wrestling. A lot of That's why we haven't seen too much of it tonight because a lot of competitors feel that it isn't the best use of their energy. Um, but that does not seem to be the case in this match and I'm kind of loving it. Yeah, I agree. And I agree with what you're saying. A lot of times people will say, well, it's, you know, it's submission only. So like, why waste it? But the thing is, if you get a takedown, most of the time you're going to land in a more advantageous position. So wrestling does come in handy. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, you know, when you're standing in these positions, obviously there's, there's quick submission attempts that you can get, or maybe a guillotine off of a shot. But you're not in any real danger. Almost outside trip. Nice attempt from Amanda. I know Amanda's been working her wrestling at Marquez on Friday mornings, and Letitia's been in camp for obviously multiple different martial arts. She's constantly training. Her goal this year is to get her purple belt and then make her pro MMA and kickboxing debut. So both of these girls with great futures. Amanda's uh, against the wall. We have Letitia keeping her against the wall with um, keeping one leg in between both of Letitia's legs here. Letitia with a high right arm underhook. Amanda's arms connected. Letitia looking to get head control underneath Amanda. And possibly a trip, but Amanda goes back to close guard and is attempting a guillotine with her right arm. I think it'll it'll be difficult to get there just because of the, her angle on the wall. Her right elbow is going to be up a little high, and what she would need to do to finish the guillotine is get that right arm in the pocket. So Letitia postures up. And she's got Amanda against the cage who will open her guard. We're coming off the cage a little bit here. Amanda doing a good job of working herself back up to a seated position. Recognizing she doesn't want to be against the cage. Letitia getting her right knee in. Looking for a pass. Amanda keeping a good right knee shield in this position. Letitia switching it over, possibly for like a leg drag position here into like a smash pass. She just misses it. Amanda does a good job there of recovering. Very good guard retention for sure from Amanda. She has a great knee shield. Letitia again looking to attack that neck, aiming for a darce. Yeah, and switching and to north-south, she'll get the pass. That Darce threat can really open up the pass and make your opponent uh, force them to put their shoulders back to the mat to avoid the Darce pressure, which really stops all of their knee shield uh, protection, takes away a lot of their frames and allows for the pass. For sure. Letitia may be considering stepping over for this uh, left arm of Amanda's, and she'll try to take a Kimura, which could be there. But Amanda is on her knees. She does a good job of coming to her knees, and Letitia switches to the back. That very was a nice. Very transition. quick back take. Very, very quick. She's got a rear naked choke. Not quite locked in yet. Amanda doing a good job of hand fighting. 
Yep, and turning away from the, the choke, and now she's. This match has me going. on my knees. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> this is oh, and oh, the and tap. she got the tap. All right. So this is a round two rear naked choke. Round two rear naked choke. So now we're gonna move so into round three. Round. So. If there is no sub in round three, then Letitia takes it with one sub in round two. Um, obviously, if Letitia gets a sub in round three, then that obviously would mean two subs for her. Um, so Amanda really needs to focus on getting a sub here because that's the only way she can bring this into an overtime. I really think at either point, either of the girls can take it. I mean, they are both in it to win it, so I'm excited to see what this next round brings. And yes. potentially our first overtime. We first still time, haven't yeah. had an overtime. No overtime so far. I think our last card we had uh, at least two or I three. Two, yeah. yeah. With quick subs, though. Uh, yeah, they were impressive. quick subs. Neither overtime went past, I think, five minutes. Um, All right, we're back at it. Round three. Here we go. Again, Amanda in the, the Cheetah Bottoms, uh, Letitia in the Sub Out Domestic Violence Rash Guard, which is actually another promotion put on by um, The Vault. Uh, great promotion for women, if you guys are checking out. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of hand fighting. Again, trying to arm drag. Both girls look so comfortable on their feet. And you can see Amanda's coming out aggressive. She knows she's got to get a sub in this round. Um, and she knows she needs to make something happen. You can see some of those uh, little bit of face collar ties. There, yeah. yeah, those they're getting. Uh, that's the second or third one that's been a little a little tight there. Um, it's a good arm drag. Um, Amanda did a really good job though, spinning with it, creating space, and being able to push herself out. They're doing a good job of creating angles and circling on their feet, kind of feeling each other out here, seeing where they're comfortable. We're just a little under a minute in here. I think Amanda's going to start picking up the pace, knowing that she's going to have to win this round to take it to that overtime round. And this is one of those things where if you're Amanda or you're Amanda's corner, you're thinking, we haven't hit a successful takedown yet. Um, we've only really been taken down or guard pulled. And you can't get a submission from standing. Uh, or Well, obviously you can, yeah, right, but it's, right. it's much tougher to create submission opportunities. Uh, they're more reactionary, typically, if you get a submission from yeah. the standing position. So she needs to force some action, and a guard pull might be the uh, m what she has to do here to be able to create some isolation. I'm surprised, actually, we haven't seen more use of the cage in this match, but they have been on it. They've been on it a good amount. And it looks like Letitia's going to hear us and bring Amanda right to the cage now. She's oh. in on possibly a guillotine, yeah. naked use guillotine, which will use down. it to snap. Yeah, Very that was nice. Beautiful, and she immediately looking for that right arm to the isolation. Arm transition. Potential Kimura, potential arm lock, and she can step over and she's going to use it to spin around to the back, which is how she got the finish last time. Yep. Amanda wow. saw that this time, which yep. is great. Got and her Amanda back did to a the good mat. Yeah, and she she's beat got her to back the mat. to guard. Very nice. Technical stand and base. Girls are back to standing. That was good. I like the escape effort. I like the sub effort. Yep, that was a lot great. Of back and, and forth. I like the fact that you saw that Amanda learned from that last time. And she said, yeah, nope, sure. you're not taking my back the same way. I'm going to beat you to the mat, and I'm going to get out of this. That's what shows it, like a good grappler, somebody that can recognize it from the previous one, and they're like, I'm not doing that again. Exactly. And that's one of the nice things about the format of Arena is when you leave a match, if you, you get subbed um, and you don't feel like you had a great performance, you go home and you think about it for the next week, month, yeah. and you just focus. <laughs> and because you, you think, if I had just been able to make that correction, and here we're watching in real time, Amanda's basically, she's getting the grudge match right now. Right now, yep. And she's able to fix the mistake right now. She has her right opportunity now. to come right back at it. And so let's say, you know. Who do you think the pressure's on more? Letitia to not get subbed or Amanda to submit her? Well, so here's I think the problem. it's equally hard. From the know. standing position, all the pressure's on Amanda, right? Right, right. If we're on the ground, now there's equal pressure on each because I think, you know, Letitia needs to focus on not disengaging but also not putting herself at risk. From the the standing position, it can be Ooh, really, really, yeah, that was. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I agree. That makes sense. Yeah, it's tough, though, from the standing position because realistically, I mean, you know, Letitia can just keep focusing on these takedowns and, you know, fighting and she's not really at any risk right now, so... And we only got about a minute, minute and a half. Yeah. So I know. So she's got a sub. Amanda has to sub Letitia in a little under a minute to go. A little over a minute to go. I'm sorry. Yep. Otherwise, yeah. this match will end with, with Letitia winning in round two. Well, she did say she likes to jump on people. Maybe now is the time nice to start attempt. some. Oh. Uh, yep. She I thought maybe it was the time for a, a flying uh, submission yeah, of some yeah, sort. Yeah, for sure. I um, thought maybe the... Uh, 
the pre-match info was going to be a uh, foreshadowing. Little under a minute left here on this match. Both girls looking like they're putting everything out there in that cage. But I like seeing Amanda take the risk there because that's what you got to do. You got for sure. 45 seconds left. You might um, as well go. You might as well go for it, right? You yep. have nothing to lose at this point. I can't see from this angle, but I'm thinking Letitia might be in on, uh, on on the neck again. Yeah, the problem is it looked like Amanda had the grip around the around her leg for a second, which made it where she wasn't able to get the full angle for that Darce. Um, but she was able to break the grip on the leg and really settle into a full dominant position now. Um, We're coming down to the last 20 seconds here, and Letitia will take full mount. Now, but hey, it only takes five seconds to hit a submission, so you it never does. know. We've seen it. We saw one submission at four minutes and yeah, 59 there seconds you go. in the third round uh, earlier tonight. Letitia transitioning to the back, and it looks like she actually might have Amanda's right arm possibly almost trapped with her foot. Oh, and she'll come back down to regu regular mount, and that's oh, going to be time. time. All right. Good show by both girls. This is definitely, this is going to be in there for me on one of the most exciting matches for yes, sure. Yes, that was absolutely an extremely exciting match. And both competitors really put everything out there. And it was, it was, I think, our first match. Um, Good stuff. Our, our first match where we had someone get a sub in a round and then the, the fight didn't end with a sub. Yep, completely different than all the other yeah. ones. Absolutely, yep. Letitia Mole out of Gracie 717 takes the win tonight over Amanda Mazza, who left it all on the mat out of web BJJ. And we will chat with Letitia. Oh, yeah, she fine. said her hair looks great. <laughs> so congratulations on your win. We want to hear your thoughts on the match. Uh, it was a good matchup, like Kat said. Um, I definitely feel like we were equally skilled. Um, she's pretty spazzy, like pretty, you know, explosive and strong. But uh, I train with those kind of guys every day, so I was ready for it. And uh, it was just, I was the better person today. Absolutely. How are you feeling coming out of it? What are your plans for the future? I feel great. I'd love to get a purple belt soon. <laughs> on it, but Damien, to, if you're listening. <laughs> I'd love to do another one of these. This was great. And I love that there's no crowd. So it really takes the uh, that, that pressure aspect of, oh my God, everybody's watching me. I, I was really focused in. I could hear my coach perfect. I was doing everything she told me. So I have to ask, like, what is this? Is it the honey badger? <laughs> like, can you tell us about this? So the Honey Badger is my fight name. Uh, I'm a professional boxer. I plan on making a professional MMA debut this year as well. So if you see the Honey Badger, that's me. I have merch on MMATico.com. Uh, Letitia Mole, go grab some. Awesome. We are super excited to see what's in store for you this year. Amanda as well, shout out to her. Yeah. You guys, I was just telling uh, Alec here, that's up there in performances for the evening oh, for both y'all. Yeah, she was awesome. She was great. And she was a great uh, partner, if you will, too. I feel like we were very aware of each other. So yeah, it was awesome. Thank you, guys.